Where's my fucking money, Danny? What the- All right, Pokemon! <laughs> Best friends versus Chris R. Okay. Uh... Glamour? Aha, he is distracted! Throw a bottle. Bottle throwing successful! It's super effective! <laughs> They're so awesome, they can deflect bullets with their flesh. Johnny, I guess I'll do a taunt with him. <laughs> you motherfucker! It's all we know is throw football. <laughs> throw a football! It's not very effective. He's almost down, only like two more hits. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Oh, hey. Take that motherfucker. That was me who threw it, Johnny. Oh shit, yeah, sorry. What's going on here? Somebody help. Let's hit, take him to the police. Okay. Oh, I can talk to him. You're fucking dead, man! You're fucking dead! Fucker! Where's my fucking money? Where's my fucking money? Okay, he's just a broken record after that. <laughs> you're fucking dead, man! But you seem like you're cooperating pretty well with us. I throw a few water bottles and footballs at him, and he's down. Bleeding. It's the police station. Is this direction? There's a sail up there. Our mocha lattes will melt your brain. It's so hot in here. I'm getting I'm getting minimum wage for this gig. Hmm. Whatever. Is it this way? Aha, police station. <laughs> Jittering there. Well if it isn't our old friend, Chris R, whatever that last name is. We've been looking for a reason to bust you for years. Thanks, Johnny. You're our favorite citizen. You're our favorite citizen. You're my favorite cousin. You're my favorite employee. Thanks again, Johnny. What do you have to say? See any crimes this week? Sorry, Johnny. There's no help for you. <laughs> you got so many issues, dude. There's just no help for you. What the a spoon! Shank Spoon! I saw that and I just clicked on it. I can't click on anything else? I found a fucking spoon! I need to look for spoons! We should go check on De <clears throat> Denny. That actually has a little spoon display. Shank Spoon. Hmm. There, it's like hidden image things. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if I can find more spoons. Is there a spoon in here? Why are we in here? I don't know. It doesn't even prompt anything, so I just, I just have to look for an image of a spoon or something. 88 cents a cup? Oh, whoops. Damn it! I did not want it. I can't believe I'm getting held up in a game. This is <laughs> amusing. It's amazing, guys. This is cutting edge. Something I could beat in like an hour. Might as well do that. Go home, ha. Huh? Go check on Denny again. <laughs> You're not my fucking mother! Are you okay, Denny? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. What the heck? <laughs> What's okay? He's taking drugs. Come on, stop it. It was a mistake. A mistake? That he takes drugs? Let's go home. Come on, it's clear. What's clear? I'm gonna call the police. Mom, stop it. It was Denny's mistake. Just stop. Let's go. <laughs> this is real dialogue from the movie, people. 
Why did you do this? You know better, right? I'm sorry. Why? I'm sorry. You know better, Danny. You almost got killed. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. Danny, you know that Johnny's like a, like your father. And we're friends. We're gonna help you. Let's go home. <laughs> Some award-winning dialogue right there. Let's go home. Johnny's that got father for you. Thanks, I guess, for walking me home. I was gonna go in there. I didn't remember if I read it. Oh my god! That's two of the six things I wish I could unsee. Anyways, I'm gonna read your diary. Oh, I already read it today. Holy <laughs> stricken. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> well, at least he neatly folds up his clothes. I'm gonna call Claudette and make sure she got home okay. You should take a shower, Johnny. You stink. Oh, I conjured up a stink immediately. Spoon! Is there any other spoons? I should take a shower first. No spoons? It's weird. Why am I looking for spoons? How random. Spoons. No spoons. Oh, I'll take a shower because I stink. I'm like Pigpen. Freaking, what are they called? Charlie Brown gang. Can I walk yet? There. I don't want, like being naked. I'm just fucking zombie. Uh. Okay, I took a shower, so I go back down. Clyde got, got home okay. Let's go to bed. I'm awake. <laughs> uh, TGIF. Oh, he doesn't stink, so I don't need to do that. Oh, didn't think I could do that, huh? Teleport clothes on from another room? Anyone clean up that sandwich yet? Nope. Can I take a good look? Oh, it's got a nice little rat tail mold running down it. Delicious. Can't do anything with it. Oh, I can walk behind it. Consume it, Johnny. I guess not. I guess I gotta go to work. But first, I'm gonna skim through Danny's journal. Because, you know, that's what good friends do, huh? Friday, April 18th. Chris are confronted me about the drug money I owe him. If Johnny and Mark didn't stop, hadn't stopped, Hadn't stopped him? That seems weird. Huh? Hadn't stopped him, I'd be a dead man. Then Lisa and Clyde got up in my grill about what kind of money. I was like, stop ganging up on me. But these bitches were crazy. Clyde, that's not my fucking mother. And she needs to stop acting like it. Who the fuck is this Denny kid to them? Is this some strange kid? He's just like that in the movie. Adventure point and click. Just a few more weeks, and you should be getting that rate. That raise. Get the fuck out. A bitch. Remember my friend Shirley H Hamilton? She found a new house and needs money for <clears throat> for the down payment. I will help her, but my own, but I have my own problems. That jerk brother Harold wants to give me give me a share of my own of my house. Not to mention, I just found out I definitely have breast cancer. <laughs> Thanks uh, for throwing that in. Could you lend her the money? That would be an awkward situation. I expected you to be a little more generous. And what is this I hear about you hitting Lisa? I 
did not hit Lisa. What are you talking about? Lisa told me you got drunk last night and you hit and hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> Don't get so worked up. Go cool off on the roof. And and remark a very epic scene. Okay, I'll take your advice, huh? And go cool off and roof. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Great. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? I have problem. I have a problem with Lisa. She said that I hit her. What? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? Well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know... I got questions for you. I got a question for you. Yeah? You think girls like to cheat cheat like guys do? What makes you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just... I'm just thinking. You, I don't have to worry about that because Lisa is loyal to me. Yeah, man. You never know. Yeah, man, you never know. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it. Beat her up so bad, she ended up in a, at, at a hospital in Guer Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm so happy I have you as my best friend. And I love Lisa so much. Yeah, yeah, man. You are very lucky. And I love Lisa, by the way. Well, maybe you should have a girl, Mark. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I have one already. I don't know yet. Well, what happened? Remember Betty? That's her name, right? Or Betty? Her name is Betty. Yeah, we don't see each other anymore. You know, she wasn't any good in bed. She was beautiful, but we had too many arguments. That's too bad. My Lisa's great when I can get it. That's creepy. He's like a zombie, man. Look at his face. Oh man, I can't just figure... I just can't figure women out. Sometimes they're just too smart. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Other times they're just evil. It seems to me that you're the expert. Yeah, you're the expert, Mark. No, definitely not an expert, Johnny. What's bothering you, Mark? Nothing, man. Do you do you have some secrets? Forget it. Why don't you tell me? Come on. Forget it, dude. Is it is it some secret? Come on. Jeez, stop, stop repeating yourself. I'll talk to you later. Well, whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, and it plays his theme song. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> oh, hi, Jenny. How's it going? What's wrong with Mark? He's crazy today. <laughs> Girl trouble, I guess. What's new with you? Not much. Ah, still going to move to the movie tonight? Oh, sure we are. What kind of movie are we gonna see? Well, we'll see. Danny, don't plan too much. It may not come come out right. All right, let's toss the ball around. Okay. Oh, epic ball tossing. <laughs> Fuck you. Whoops. Through a nice twirl. Whoops. You gotta tell. I gotta tell you something. Oh shit! Why'd you throw it over there, douchebag? <laughs> Catch bonus. You failed. Can't throw a ball with shit. <laughs> Shoot, Denny. It's about Lisa. Go on. She's beautiful. She looks great in her red dress. I think I'm in love with her. Go on. 
I know she doesn't like me because sometimes she's mean to me. But sometimes, <laughs> when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her that I love her. I don't know, I'm just confused. Danny, don't worry about that. This is a fucking awkward scene. It was in the movie, I think. <laughs> Lisa loves you too, as a person, as a human being, as a friend. You know, people don't have to say it. They can feel it. What do you mean? Look at this big grin. <laughs> you can love someone deep inside your heart, and there is nothing wrong with it. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. Lisa's your future wife. Danny, don't worry about it. You're a part of our family, and we love you very much. We will help you anytime, and and Lisa loves you too. Okay. As a friend. You are sort of like her son. You mean you're not upset with me? No, because I trust you, and I trust Lisa. What about Elizabeth, huh? Well, I love her. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I mean, when I graduate from college, get a job, okay, I want to marry her and have kids with her. <laughs> That's the idea. You're right. Thanks for paying my tuition. Wait, what? What, what the fuck? I, I, I did not agree on this. You're very welcome, Denny, and keep in mind if you have any problems. I did not want to pay your tuition. I did not agree to this. I will beat the shit out of you in your stupid, grinny fucking face. Whatever. I'm rich. It doesn't matter. Talk to me and I will help you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's go eat, huh? Come on, let's go. I'm starving. Go coffee shop with Creepazoid. Great, more dialogue with this thing. <laughs> Big blushy grin. That was a very awkward scene. It was like two freaking sickos talking together. Oh, look, it's Doc Brown. Oh, it is Doc Brown. I need 1.21 gigawatts of caffeine! <laughs> Is that all you're gonna say? Great Scott! A mocha lattes are delicious! Gigawatts! Gigawatts! The bruise out! Not in the future, it isn't! Okay. That was nice. I guess she has bags under her eyes. Hi Johnny, what can I get for you? Let's see, coffee, mint tea, hot chocolate, oh, bottled water, a peanut butter cup, bagel, cheesecake. How about you? I'll have a, I'll have the cheesecake. Oh, well, I was having one too. Congratulations, you're our billionth cheesecake served. I knew we could count on you, Denny. So, Denny, how is the cheesecake? It's amazing, Johnny. You should try some. I already got some, you idiot. No thanks. Too late anyway. I just ate it all. Thanks for paying. Thanks for paying for my cheesecake, Johnny. See ya. Wow, I like being walked over, huh? I guess I should be getting home now, huh? Oh my. I'm a complete tool. <laughs> this game's already seeming like torture. I gotta see if there's any spoons. Spoon, 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 spoon. A spoon? <sighs> Curses. All that and no spoon. Spoon! Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I guess what? 
go home. Huh?